Welcome, my friends, to a new concept. A while ago I told someone that new random ores is impossible without having thousands of commands. And then 1.9 happened. So, in this world, a new ore has been added. This ore is ruby ore. Currently, it does not do anything except be naturally spawned and be mined. Let's go take a look, shall we? So let's go underground. And you can see this place is littered with new ore. This new ruby ore, which has never been in the game before, unless someone can tell me otherwise. This naturally spawning ore, which can be mined. Allow me to demonstrate. So here we are under the ground. Because of my setup, you don't actually need any special tools to mine it, but you just punch it away, and bam, you will get a ruby. So how good can this thing possibly be? Well, it goes on infinitely. It will not corrupt your world in any way. It's relatively lag-free, as, as you can see there are only 230 entities in the world at the moment, and this can be easily halved. And furthermore, there are hardly any command blocks to go with it. So here we are. This side summons in a few armor stands and adds in the appropriate scoreboard objectives when you turn on the machine. But what I'm really interested in is this branch here and this branch here. This one is just for mining the rubies. But we'll get onto the natural spawning because this is what's really important. So first of all, there's an armor stands everywhere that are being spread around and they are constantly filling bedrock with obsidian, as you can see down here. Now, this isn't originally my idea. This idea came up this come up from Sparks in his Game Mode 4 series. Um, he's also known as Accidental Games, or well, that's what the whole team is called. So you can see the area that has already been checked has been covered with obsidian, whereas the area that is unchecked is covered with bedrock. Now, Sparks is more reliable, however, it is quite laggy, un un unlike the new 1.9 system that we have. So every time an armor stand successfully replaces bedrock with obsidian, it's going to summon an armor stand which will start to ascend. And when it ascends, it gets a score added to it, a life score, and when it reaches a certain point, it will die. However, if it detects granite, then it will and if, and if it's a certain score, then it will set the block with a ruby skull, which has all these things here. And for the mining, I am going to link Dragonoz's video in the description, because that is entirely his concept. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I would love to hear your feedback. Take care.